It drives everything in your life. Your health, your success, your relationships, every aspect of your life depends and reflects this. Today, I'm going to show you what I mean by relationship intelligence. Because it's something you got to build if you want to live a healthy, successful life across all areas of your life, your relationships, your success with other people, with businesses, with your wellness, with your health, with your fun, with your joy. All of it is dependent upon your relationship intelligence. So I'm going to go into what it is. And this could take me very many days, actually, because it's the most important book the universe has been directing me to write. And it's been giving me all this information, very specific information, for 26 years. So here's what it is. With all the people I've worked with over the years, I found that 100% of them had disconnects in their relationship history, starting all the way back in the womb. And one person actually came into the lifetime with a disconnect. Well, maybe disconnect's not the accurate word, more like energy box. So where do these blocks happen? You know everything is energy. I'm energy. Your energy. The cosmos is energy. The universe, infinite intelligence source. And we're all one, the same energy. So when we get blocks in our energy, they're happening because of relationship misunderstandings. And that's where the disconnects come in all across our lives. So if you've ever experienced or done talk therapy with somebody, you're focused on a particular incident. And the most common thing people do is take you back and find out, well, how old were you when you were going through this? And they clear that. But that's not how your body, mind, spirit works. There's no one single age or one single location for the block. Think of it this way. You are the most extraordinary computer in existence. What do I mean by that? You know how on your computer you have a directory and inside that directory you have file folders and inside each file folder you have documents or images or different kinds of data. Well, that's how your body, mind, spirit work. So think of when you have, I still keep paper file folders with literal files in them and documents, etc., inside them. Because ultimately, your backed up files, I have, uh, what do I have? Six different backup drives, 100% of backup drives eventually die. So in addition to those, I have a backup cloud drive. But for reasons I can't explain, things happen and the files don't back up the way they're supposed to 100% of the time. So what is happening is you have for each energy block, each incidence of a relationship issue that happens. Well, what kind of relationships? I had more than one client come to me with severe candida. The very first time the energy block happened, they were in the womb. One of them was in first trimester and the other was in third trimester. So it's not like there was an awareness 
but boom, the block happened. And then we go through their entire lifetime, starting with their present age. Here's something really interesting. Then go backwards from their present age all the way back to the moment of conception. And we're going year by year. And blocks turn up at different ages. And we put them in the circuit because we're going to clear everything at once. So the blocks happen here and there, counting down. But then we take more information, counting back up to their current age, but we're not done yet because surprisingly, it never ceases to surprise me that different issues happen at different stages, at different ages, going down, then coming back up, and then looking into our future and our present time. And all the time, these energy blocks are forming. And we put all of those into the folder. When you overstuff a folder, Think about back when you had, and I still have file folders with very real papers in them. Eventually, they collapse. That's what happens in your body, mind, spirit. Eventually, after all of those years of blocks forming in your chakras, in your meridians, in your energy fields, all of them going way out. And by the way, there are 20 chakras, not just seven of them. So all of these blocks are happening. They're all going into this circuit. And man, they can be a lot of them, depending upon what kind of life you've had, how many struggles you've had. Once that file folder collapses, boom, you have a physical ailment. You have an emotional challenge. You have a spiritual confusion. All of it adds up, and that's why you develop symptoms. So in relationship intelligence, what I'm doing is working with you, and we're finding all of the blocks, and we don't have to ask for a particular issue. Like, for, I know when I first started out with this, I'd say, give me a list of the things bothering you. There might be a backache, or they might be a problem they're having with a relative, or they might have a struggle in their workplace. And I put all of those into gathering data. And then I realized, well, gee, then I'm limiting the universe. But there's a whole lot of stuff out of awareness that needs to be dealt with. So I stopped doing those definite things and I just collect data on the status of what's going on with a person in all those areas I mentioned a few minutes ago. And they're there. And they come up lots and lots of them. And then I look for and I ask, what's the priority? Because there's always a priority. And when you clear a priority, guess what? A whole bunch of other stuff clears. So you don't have to keep going back and looking for more to clear because it all clears. Think a moment if you've ever gone to a doctor or a chiropractor or even a kinesiologist and they clear something for you. And by the time you get back to your car, by the time you get home, boom, it's back again. There are many reasons that happened. One of those main reasons is it wasn't a priority. And if you didn't clear the priority, there's nothing stopping it from reoccurring. But here are other ways it reoccurs. Do you live your whole life with your eyes open? Probably not. How about, do you live your whole life with your eyes open in the light? No. So you live your 
eyes. You live your life with your eyes sometimes open, sometimes closed, sometimes in the dark, sometimes in the light, sometimes in the dark with lights on. Your computer, that is you, takes very, 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 did I say that enough times, very specific note of the conditions at the time the event occurred. Which reminds me, it, it's along the same line, so I'm going to throw it out. People will sometimes have uh, a neurological event. Well, what I discovered very, very, very early in my own healing, which led me to desiring to assist others in their healing, a scoliosis is a neurological event. And every time your body goes into flight, what is it? Flight or, oh, <laughs> flight or fright. Anytime you're unable to do the flight, you get a neurological block that becomes a scoliosis. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have a curve in your spine, but maybe it does. See, when I was attacked and I was hit in the head so many times, I had a brain injury that affected my whole body. I learned that I had 11 different scoliosis, scoliosi, whatever the word is, you know what I'm talking about. And when I was 16, we discovered that I had a scoliosis in my neck. So if you're watching, you can see I'm curving my hand over because my neck had a very distinctive curve to one side. And I still had that at the time of the attack and the brain injury. But then I had all 11 of the scoliosis neurological events cleared. And guess what? The curve was gone. The curve was gone because the neurological event was cleared. The curve isn't always gone, but I got to grow an inch because of that. And the person I worked on, same thing for him. He got to grow an inch. So all of this stuff is going on out of your awareness, in your body, mind, spirit, in your folders. And until you know how to clear the priority, to clear the scoliosis, to clear all the very many blocks all across your body, mind, spirit, you're going to keep having the same issues. You might think that you cleared them, but somewhere down the line, you're going to get triggered and they're going to come back. Now, here's something else. When you do energy work or have it done on you and you want to... Well, what your body, mind, spirit wants to do. You might not want to do it. You might have it out of your awareness. Oh, but it's there. You don't want to change back. And when you go back to your family, to your partner, to your friends, oh, they're going to want you to change back. Why? Because you've changed. Your energy shifted. And that means all these people in your world need to change to accommodate your change. Because you're going to be markedly different. And not all of them want to make those changes. In fact, very few people will want to make those changes. So you yourself are going to eventually be overwhelmed by their energy wanting you to change back. So something else I do in my practice. I install anti-self-sabotage programs. Because 100% of people have them immediately upon a completion of a session with me. 
In other words, I do this every session because there are going to be different things that get blocked. So I'm clearing your self-sabotage. And we want to be really sure it doesn't come back. So I also program and literally program it into their body, mind, spirit, a literal program. And I can test each time they come back to see that program still there. A program that replaces all the programs that are not supporting you and who you are in your body, mind, and spirit. I'm imagining this stuff is new to you because I didn't learn all this from one modality or two or three or four. I learned it from many modalities because it took lots of different modalities, each one work in a different way, for me to heal from that really, really bad first traumatic brain injury. But then the second injury came following brain surgery, and I lost key nerves that have major, major functioning in your body. And they were lost because they were inside the brain tumor. So it took me three years to be able to start to accommodate the energy that it took to make my functioning seem normal. I think I seem pretty normal to you. And you can hear and understand me. And that's because I was introduced to stem cell patches, which means my stem cells are recreating the nerves that I lost. And I look forward to regaining full functioning that I had lost because it's a whole lot easier <laughs> to function when you don't ever turn your head a certain way to swallow so you don't choke. And that includes choking on your own saliva when you breathe. So being aware of all the different ways that your body functions and being tuned into the universe source, infinite intelligence, the one, whatever you want to call that energy, makes a difference that lets you exist in a healthy way to be the best possible you. And the universe has been feeding me all kinds of information. And so I created my own modality now. Because the universe showed me how didn't you show me how it told me to do it? So here's what happened. I was lying in my bed after spending about a month in the hospital following the surgery and rehab and couldn't swallow without choking, could barely speak, never knew if my voice would come out when I opened my mouth. And I was, oh my gosh, I was flying high. I was happy. I was ecstatic. And I thought, I can barely move. I have to learn to walk. I have to learn to do everything. I couldn't even hold a quart bottle of liquid. So I said, universe, how could I possibly be happy? in these circumstances. And the immediate answer, and if you don't know how to talk to the universe or your guides or your angels directly, do contact me, because I'll show you how. The immediate response was, this is true happiness. You got that? I'm lying there, I could barely move. You might imagine the pain, the scar is probably about nine inches back there and couldn't swallow, couldn't talk. It just wasn't fun. And yet I was happy because happiness doesn't have anything to do with what's outside of you. 
that doesn't have anything to do with how you're functioning or what you're missing. Happiness happens within. The universe then said to me, and no, I don't hear voices. I get feelings that are very, very, very clear. And sometimes I'll get a message that I'll see, but mostly they're feelings. So the next thing it said was, why do you think we gave you the ability to compose music, to write prolifically, I've written 80 books, to paint, to do sculptures, to make jewelry, clocks, you name it. The answer was, you have all those gifts so you can meet anybody using the platform that works for them. So if you need to hear it, well, those of you who are now on the Wisdom app, you're getting the audio so that you could see and hear it. Those of you who are on the video on YouTube and wherever else, I'll be sharing it everywhere. I can reach you no matter how you are able to process because the universe gave me all those gifts and maybe more importantly, told me why I have those gifts and showed me how to use them. So if you've ever seen my paintings, 90% of them are not what you think they are. I do subliminal paintings, there are messages in at least 90% of my paintings. So when you're looking at it, you can tell me what you see and then I'll tell you what I put in there. So I found that when I make my sharings shorter, more people listen all the way through. And that's my desire that you listen all the way through because I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing this to share what the universe tells me to share so that you get to change your life, so that you can be the best you possible. And you know what? When you make the changes and you get to be a better, I don't know if better is the right word, a different you, Everybody in your world changes. And when everybody in your world changes, they impact everybody in their world. And that's how we change the world. One person at a time. I thank you very much for joining me here today. And let's get into physical connecting heart and mind. If you have any questions at any time, please contact me. You can do that on my website, or this will be on my podcast site. And that's let's get metaphysicalshow.com. And there you can listen to or watch any episode that I've done. And this is episode 87. Or you can watch... Yeah, you can watch or listen on that site. Ask me questions. Contact me because I love to talk with you. I love talking with you to explore possibilities of how you might be wanting to change how and who you get to be in the world. Appreciate your going over to patreon.com forward slash A L I T L C. There are two levels of support to keep the show going and to give us a chance to get together live. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I N, capital J O Y, exclamation point every moment because nothing happens outside of 
you. Thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time.